30. Montana state leaders paid their respects to the state's first female governor this morning. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian has more on the ceremonies in Helena to honor former governor Judy Martz. On a snowy Friday morning, Montana Highway Patrol troopers and Butte Silver Bow police escorted Judy Martz's family from Butte to Helena. They arrived at the state capitol just after 9.30. Governor Steve Bullock, Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney, and other state leaders were on hand to meet them. Then, members of the MHP Honor Guard escorted the former governor's ashes into the capitol rotunda. There, Martz lay in state throughout the day, with troopers standing guard. MHP Sergeant Jay Nelson commanded the Honor Guard for Friday's ceremonies. He previously worked on Martz's protection detail while she was governor. The biggest thing I could say about Governor Martz is her sense of love, her sense of faith, uh, and her sense of leadership. She treated us that protected her as her own children. It was an honor to serve under Governor Martz. Nelson says it's not always easy to take part in solemn ceremonies like this, but it's a responsibility that MHP takes seriously. It's truly an honor to be here and be able to present her the respect and professionalism that is the true basis of the Montana Highway Patrol. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Now, in addition to friends, family, and the state's top officials being on hand to pay their respects to former Governor Martz, some of the people who knew her best, her co-workers, were there as well at the Capitol today. They were sharing some memories. MTN's Mike Dennison was there as well and files this report. Lynn Staley worked as Governor Martz's scheduler during her only term as governor and said Friday it was the best job she ever had. Governor Martz cared so much about the people of the state and she just wanted to be everywhere and, and go to every function, which was literally impossible. But her heart was certainly for the people of the state of Montana. And we're all just very lucky to have worked for this wonderful lady. Staley and other former staffers showed up early at the Capitol Friday before Martz's ashes arrived with a Montana Highway Patrol escort in a heart-shaped urn. Soon they were joined by many other well-wishers, including Attorney General Tim Fox, Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney, and Governor Steve Bullock, who ordered flags flown at half-mast Friday through next Tuesday in honor of Martz. But the day belonged mostly to those who knew and worked closely with Montana's first and so far only female governor. They recalled her as a political first in Montana and a kind and caring person. It was a privilege to be able to serve the first uh, woman governor of Montana. She, she truly was a trailblazer because she cared very deeply about her staff and uh, that's evident in the fact that we uh, became close friends after um, she served as governor. March served from 2001 through 2004 and didn't run for re-election that year. She led the state during some difficult economic times including an electricity market crisis and a national recession after the September 11th terrorist attacks. Susan Ames, who was Martz's advisor on appointments, says the governor was a hard-working public servant who wasn't afraid to make tough decisions. Judy was an amazing person. She was funny. She was smart. She was a person who wanted to stick her neck out like the turtle and uh, do the best she could do. She wanted to be a high achiever. She was. She excelled in everything she ever did. Pastor Keith Johnson of Helena also led the morning crowd in a brief prayer and remembrance, calling Martz an example of courage, commitment, and discipline. Judy Martz will be remembered as Montana's first woman governor. But on this day, friends, family, political foes, and allies alike remembered her as Judy. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. A public memorial service for former Governor Martz will be held Saturday at the Butte Civic Center starting at 11.